I have no words. You know how to say? Isane? Absolutely, because now you guys can heal them. I didn't see that coming. I knew she was cool, but. Yamamoto said that? I thought so, because they can heal. They need to stay out the way. I'm gonna just come out with it. I believe Unohana was a part of the original. Oh, that's hard. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Unohana was a part of the original Squad 13. I think she's the first person that makes an attack on the Quincy's. Mikaku? Who was he fighting? Is that thing in a wheelchair? But I was gonna say, there's too many like hints pointing towards how strong she is. And we haven't seen it all anime. Why not now? That's my guy. <laughs> I get so happy with Shinji on the frame, bro. He's come so far. Getting this captain role back again. Is he still in Bankai? I'm gonna completely ignore the fact that he's a Quincy for now, because I have so many questions. Too many that would take up this episode. I love Shinji's Kansai accent. It's about your Zanpak toe. Maybe because what Yuha was saying kind of hit hard? How's Byakuya? Did he actually go like that? That's just how Ichigo moves, man. Even the hilt. Mm. So how do we bounce back? They're okay. Because he said Kenpachi. I had a feeling like Kenpachi ain't dead yet. What? Hey, you gotta keep your head cool. What happened to Jushiro? We didn't see so many fights. That's not true. <laughs> Yo, he got an eye patch now. <laughs> Very true. You know Mayuri is cooking something up, bro. He been in here all the whole fight, actually. Like while they were fighting. In time to infuse the material. If that's the truth, how did Byakuya survive? Have completely different meaning. Can never be the. Oh. Are they trying to say his bankai is gone? Cause it ain't. Cone. <laughs> oh, we're getting comedic relief. That's necessary. I kind of miss Cone. But I don't want to in the slightest. Who are we talking about? The great squad zero is coming. So, okay, this is the strongest squad. All of them, like, head captain level. Where the hell were they? Yeah. The royal power. Do they guard the Soul King? Uh-huh. This wall normally protect. Oh my god. Oh, okay. These guys are gonna be very important, of course. They just cleared the sky, by the way. Transport vehicle. <laughs> they have no squad officers, all five are captains. The combined strength of those five is greater than that of the entire 13th Corps. Okay, so all of them are, I'm assuming, not as strong as Yama. All together, they're beating the other side, is what I'm hearing. They look kind of cool. Kind of. What the fuck? He looks cool. <laughs> they look kind of goofy. <laughs> okay, I'll say this. They look more old school than everyone else. Have you been eating right? Hiyori, yeah, I miss her, man. What's going on? This is the first time they mentioned her. Kirio. Did she gain weight or something? <laughs> Careful around her. Oh, he taught her how to. 
These are quite the personalities. He gives the vibe as the strongest one. Osho. Everyone knows him, of course. To rebuild it at the behest of the Stolkin. We're taking you back up with us. I understand Soi Fon's anger. Someone has to, like, say something. Okay. I would love to learn more about the Soul King. If Squad Zero is gonna bring us into that, then sure, why not? <laughs> he expressed his pain before passing out. What the? Is she like the Bodhisattva? Lady Guanin? Wow. So she's not a healer first and foremost. Big surprise. They're taken for a different reason. They also know about Ichigo. They know a lot. Urahara? He did come back. Well, not to the Soul Society, but he's there. So who do you run into? Ha! <laughs> Cone! <laughs> he experimented on the... Did they fix their clothes as well? I swear there should be a hole in Chad's like shirt right now. But a lot happened. Okay, he's not gonna tell us yet. I was right! That is Grimjow. Why are they doing that? <laughs> what you truly want to do. You can hear them argue. <laughs> We reached a nice agreement. So, Grimjow killed Kilhei with one Sero. Granted, the guy was already on death's door. What he truly wants to do, I will surely lead to protecting us all in the end. Hey, Baldi. Tenza Zangetsu. Maybe because it's broken, he can't de-transform. I don't know why I didn't consider that. Something resembling your original sword. So he'll no longer have Tenza. Kukaku. <laughs> okay, show up for a little bit. Give her some good animation. Uh, Gin Ganju, Ganju. He was a captain. Ishi. There are no other Kurosakis in the Soul Society, though. So maybe he had a different last name. Sugashi! The Full Ringers? Okay. I guess it makes sense. They just, they're in the spirit world now. Oh, this is hard. So where's the Soul King? Kinda wanna meet him. Okay, if I don't. Look at all the... This place feels... Tranquil. To the Royal Pass without the Oaken. Yo, he is... Using his own spiritual powers. That is crazy. I'd say more like a rebel that really doesn't want to be ruled by the Soul King. He wants to be himself. Kidding them. A hot spring? 
This vibe, man. Oh, this is probably yeah, cause that guy's the healer that taught Unohana how to heal. Damage spiritual pressure. Oh, that's where the toxins are going. We're going to take Byakuya, who's completely squeezed out. Oh, never mind. Okay. This guy is different. Punish it in blood pot. <laughs> Twice as good as normal. Hot Spring Demon, Tenjiro Kirinji. Kirinji Osho Kiryo. We didn't meet the other ones. Or know their names. Hold on. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything because I've done that before. Soul King? It seems you're awake. Ooh, okay. So this was quite literally the healing and rebuilding episode. We got word that Byakuya and Zaraki are gonna be fine, but we've met Squad Zero, an interesting bunch, and I'm curious to see what their Zanpak toes do, because if they're Squad Zero, they must be very unique. One taught Unohana how to heal, and that's not her main ability, go figure. And then we saw some familiar faces, the Fullbringers. They also took the time for the captains to mourn old man Yama and his Zanpak toe, as that's the only thing that's left of him. And this could just be like my mental overdoing things, but Kubo loves symbolism. Shunsui talks from the opposite direction as all the other captains. So if you ask me, he's probably gonna be the next head of the squad 13, just off of that scene alone. That, and it seems like he was closest to Yamamoto. Although now that I think about it, it's confirmed that Unohana is the oldest person in the squad, considering that fight with the Quincy's was a long time ago, and Shunsui was a kid when Yamamoto was telling him about it. So maybe it goes like Yamamoto, Unohana, Uketake, Shunsui. So that was a cool bit of information to put together in my head, but I hope they find a way to completely heal Ichigo Zanpakuto. That would give me a lot of hope for when he fights again. And are they going to expand upon his Quincy power since they already know of Ichigo? I feel like so many people probably knew this. And because they're not the center of the story, they don't dump all the information on us because that's not the way the story progresses. For example, Ichigo knows only one technique that's Getsuga Tensho and it's because he rarely trains. He only fights when he needs to and during those killer battles is where he gets stronger. I feel like in that sense, he and Kenpachi are very similar. I said that to say the way Ichigo trains and the way they hold information from us feel very similar. They never take time to just explain it all to us. I'm getting very off topic. This was a very good episode and it kind of brightens my day for the next one. The Soul King has awoken and he looks kind of crazy. So hopefully in the next episode we hear him talk. And who knows, maybe even he knows of Ichigo. His eyes look really weird too.